Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the Aquarius and Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support for all the years that you guys have been support. Welcome new subscribers and I hope you will send out these messages um, so that other people will see them. Okay. I want to say to each and every person, um, it's going to be a wonderful year for you guys somehow. You have the energy of this year it's going to be an air energy it's a year of duality and it is the year of justice and balances so whatever the situation is in your life the energy of justice and balance is here and it also comes back in your energy it also comes back in your energy vibration reading um, in the month of July August so um, this is the energy vibration for the year and it also comes back in August of the year okay so this is um, this is actually um, very good um, that justice the balance of justice comes back um, I want to say to each and every person out there is that this is going to be a very um, trying year for you guys a very trying year um, I'm going to make a, 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 um, a, a picture to show you what is going to be happening but it's going to be a very trying here and uh, all you have to do is to just learn to work through the energies you can't work against the energies because if you do work against the energies you're going to see that it's going to have really um, an aftershock for you people and it's going to be as if the energies are pushing you backwards okay so just take it as it goes just take it as it comes do not um, try to work against it because if you do you are going to see um, this situation kind of working out and then it's not going to be working out in your favor so try not to work against the energy because it will work against you okay so um I'm sorry I'm just trying to get my things so uh, focus today is the elf of the health that I'm doing these readings because I needed I had to wait um, um and um, this is you know really um, a strange 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 um, time because of the the shift that is on this planet at this moment okay um, your focus and what is going to be happening for you guys in this year is the energy of the Sun which is wonderful um, you know the Sun comes out because of all the stuff that uh, um, is going to be transpired in this year it's um, a really positive year because the energy of the Sun comes out and that is going to be your main focus um, the positive energy of success is going to be, come to a lot of people because this energy of the Sun is bringing a lot of positive energies a lot of success a lot of wonderful uh, situations in your life and this is just going to be extremely positive for you guys so um, congrats uh, as we look at January because oh, uh, for January a lot of people are going to be a little bit um, you know over the water that things you know things and situations are like a, um, a ray for some people it's going to be as if it's a ray but it's not going to be that of a ray it's just going to be an energy where some people are just not understanding what is really happening so um, what we're going to do is that you have the energy of the moon so um, this energy of the moon is um, for his psychic people because it's your birthday um, you begin um, the energy of January with um, the energy of um, the hurt energy and then your birthday starts on the 20 um, 20th or 19th of January that sort of a thing and you're going to feel this but there's a lot of luck coming in but yet still for you psychic especially um it's you know december is entered and it's 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 for you guys um the psychic segment of who you are is going to kick in in january so be aware of this and understand what is going on in february we're looking if these cards will work with me in February we have the energy of judgment um, February really 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 brings the energy of judgment 
and um, with the energy of judgment coming in in February this is going to give you um, a lot of people are going to you know it's, it depends on uh, who you are and what uh, vibration are you carrying because um, it depends and how this is going to work out for you because you are going to realize that a lot of stuff is going to be happening to you and then you have to understand how you can deal with this so some people will be having um, information coming at them secrets coming out that sort of a thing and um, whatever has transpired it's going to come out so um, <coughs> sorry it is <coughs> sorry a time when secrets and information are going to be coming out okay as we look at March we have the energy of debt and transformation and a lot of people do not like when I talk about debt but it's actually transformation transformation and people will be passing over it's like sometimes you have a specific group of uh, um, people who will be passing over and this sort of a thing is going to be transpiring and taking place so be aware of this and be very understanding okay because a whole lot of transformation so transformation in your life transformation with situations a whole lot of transformation is going to be happening so let's go back and recap your first three months from January until March you have the energy of um, the moon was it the moon of the eye princess the eye princess oh my god i'm so sorry you have the energy of the eye princess in january so it was still psychic so the energy of the eye princess in january is really a psychic energy it's really a water energy it's really an emotional month in february another water month another emotional situation that is going on so um, this is really transpiring for a lot of things and then you have that and transformation um, in March so the, your first three months of this year is going to be very emotional it's going to be carrying the energy of a transformation and um, a January is going to be a transformation of the psychic and um, February is going to be information coming in at you and then um, March is going to be the energy of transformation some um, souls may be passing over that is connected to people some people who are listening to this reading so your first three months is going to be really really a, a bit of unbalancing um, seeing that it's 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 emotional all three are all emotional they're all changes they're all information coming in their changes in some shape and form that is happening in your life okay we're moving forward to um, April April we have a wonderful energy the energy of the magician which is um, the um, the energy of one of your sister zodiac signs so the energy of the magician comes in which is very wonderful very powerful this is going to bring you a lot of excitement in your life this is going to because the energy of the magician bring actually luck so um, it's going to be positive in a sense because you're going to see this energy transpiring and coming back and coming back a lot of times so this is going to be very positive so whatever the situation that is occurring for you it's you're going to see positive situation coming up because the energy of the magician comes up in April to show you things and to align you with things so this is going to be good as we move forward we have the energy of the world so congratulations um, you guys have the energy of the world um, in May and if you listen to the general readings you're going to realize that in general reading May it's going to be a very positive month for a lot of people so you Aquarians receive the energy of May in this month and this is going to be wonderful and positive so this is going to be extremely good um, it's endings coming in because the endings start to clear up in the first three months which your birthday month you had um, some of you who were born in January had the energy of uh, the psychic the, the, the eye princess that was coming in and the rest in February is going to receive news so and not everybody vibrates with the same energy vibration and here you have in May that 
endings uh, comes in and uh, this is a new beginning for a lot of people so this is going to be fantastic another wonderful energy that is here is is your own energy vibration in the month of June so another wonderful energy because in the month of June the general energies there is the energy of the Sun and you have the energy of the fool so in June you're going on a new journey which is very very positive very very balanced very very um, um, you're moving forward in your life in a very extremely wonderful way so this is just going to be overall very positive for you um, Aquarian so beautiful reading so far so let's um, recap the second quarter of the year for you um, for you such for you um, um, Aquarians you have the magician which is good very good positive then you have the world which is another really really positive energy and then you have the energy of the fool which is just so fantastic so good so wonderful so this the second quarter of the year is going to be um, a very very positive a very good As we move on to um, the second half of the year for you guys sorry I had to break um, we have a fire energy that is coming up in the month of July you have the energy of fire coming up in the month of July and this is the energy of inner strength um, this inner strength is called for because whenever there's success whenever there's changes whenever there's movement you need to find that inner strength so you can make that movement so that you can make that connection so that you can really really use this energy and make this changes in your life so you need inner strength because in whatever we're about to do in our lives so we need to find that inner strength so we can um, take it to a further step so July is going to be a fiery month it's going to be September so this is going to be good so um, you know just deal with the energies and uh, try and work with the flow and not against the flow as we look at the energy in um, August it is a, um, a wonderful energy August is a very very positive month for you guys because you have um, the energy of uh, um, justice the energy of justice is an air sign this is good whatever karmatic situation that is now you are connected to people on this planet at this time in this year 2018 you are going to see that it's going to come there is going to be a balance there it's, it's as if um, whatever that was not uh, with integrity if you weren't um, being dealt with it with integrity now it has come to an end and this is um, really good so that's a positive and a, um, a good time for you guys as we go forward we have the energy of temperance and this is wonderful this is positive another good energy because you're learning to balance out so there is two times duality and this year is also duality and there's two times the duality that is happening because of uh, um, in August uh, um, you have uh, the scale the balancing of the scale with the justice and now in um, August September you have an earth sign that is bringing in this very very um, you know um, 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 balance it is it is, uh, it is um, the sense of balance so it is bringing in a lot of balance for you which is going to be wonderful and it's going to be extremely positive so whatever you're looking forward to whatever you're um, trying to achieve it's it's going to be um, extremely extremely good okay so um, as we look at the third quarter this is one of um, a lot of um, balance you need to balance out a lot of situation you need to you know get a lot of situation um, being balanced out and understand what has transpired and and how you're going to move along because this is like the last three months before the last the last three months of the ending of the year 
so this is actually good because uh, with the balancing of the scale and the balancing of the karma scale and the justice you are seeing wonderful positive energies that are coming out and this is going to be good so um, the month of August is going to be um, a very fun, um, positive month for you if you decide to do anything in August you are going to see that it's going to be working out um, October October you have the energy of the devil this is a fire energy this is not good for you guys um, seeing that the energy vibration of uh, um, the year is with this fire energy it's not going to be one of those really positive situation not going to be one of those positive things in this year because there's a lot of change a lot of transformation that sort of a thing that is going to be happening to you so you need to understand that take it easy in this month because this energy can throw you off so um, be aware of that the energy can throw you off as we move forward we have another water energy the energy of the moon so expect um, because you know the energy of the devil is that you feel trapped and you feel hold on to um, and you, you need to find inner strength you feel trapped and you feel more hold on to a lot of stuff so what is happening here is that in November you have the energy of uh, um, the moon and you're actually fighting off you're actually fighting off your enemies you're actually really as, as if you're literally you, you you really are fighting off your enemies so you have to just be realistic take some balance be understanding to this situation because it's as if you be um, transpiring and trying to release some of uh, um, the people who have been working against you and you know just not being harsh to them but um, and because justice has overcome your enemies so you are going to realize that justice came in August and they're going to still want to attack you and you really have to let like hold them and you know break them for them to stop and hopefully like, that is not going to really happen but this is what is happening as we move forward we have the energy of the Aerophant in December you have the energy of the Aerophant in December so here we are and here we are focusing and vibrating on these energies because the energies of the Aerophant is a group of people and this is why you need to have balance with these people because if you fight against it it's going to push you out of balance and this is what they want so you're not going to give them what it is that they want because you are going to stand your ground to whatever that is playing out. You're just really going to stand your ground. So last three months of this year is not really one of those one of those wonderful time because the last three months of this year you have to deal with the devil the moon and an organization so you're dealing with the devil and the moon and the moon is this this moon that comes up is actually the enemies that you ha have to be fighting off in the last three months. So, um, this is as it could, as I said, it is uh, um, the energy of uh, um, and uh, of a transformation that happens in, um, in 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 January and February. You're seeing this um, coming at you in the rest of the year so you know you have to be just be very careful of what is going on around you because um, you are going to find them coming at you as if uh, out of the the woodworks and you have to let to like stand up and said no this is it you know that that is what you have to do you have to really just stand up and said no this is it okay your best Best. The um, um, April until June is your best, best three months of the year. April to June. August is going to be a very, very, very good month. And that's it. So, you know, um, 
the energy of um, the Sun comes out because the Sun needed to bring this energy over your year because your year is a year of a lot of uh, changes it's fighting it's getting information and fighting off um, people and situation that are coming at you so um, you need to be aware of this okay let's look at your zodiac so remember August is going to be a very good month and um, August is going to be a very good month and uh, um, um, April till until um, April May June is going to be good okay let's look at your zodiac sign who are going to be there who you're going to be um, who's gonna be affecting you um, so um, if you'd like to have a more general reading to this I'm going to do a more um, general reading okay so let's look at the Sun people what is going to be happening for the Sun assigned people and this is remember is the um, if you were born um, 12 uh, 12 p.m. at night until 12 12 a.m. at night until 12 uh, until 6 p.m. you this is the reading for you Sun people um, you are going to be dealing with the Virgos a lot of you are going to be dealing with the Virgos um, and the Virgos have and work with Mercury um, and this is going to be good for you because um, you guys are both um, on the psychic part so this is going to be good a lot of you will be working with the Virgos and then um, we have also the Gemini's the Virgos and the Gemini so this is this is actually a good match so for the Sun people remember for the Sun people you would be working with the Gemini's and the Virgos and this is going to be good some of you are going to be connecting up and coupling up with these people let's look at the moon people the moon people are the people who were born 6 p.m. 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. And you are going to be dealing with the Tauruses and the Scorpions. The Tauruses and the Scorpions. So um, here you um, are going to realize that the Tauruses and the Scorpions will be coming in your life. And this is going, the, the Tauruses, what they're going to do is help you in the business, and the Scorpions are going to help you with your emotion and balancing out your emotions. And this is going to be extremely good, okay? so this is wonderful this is extremely wonderful so um, we're going to go ahead and um, look at the rest of the energies because first um, we are doing the energy of the ascendance um, deck and um, we're going in a more spiritual um, not really spiritual but the ascendance masters the ascendance deck because we're in the time of ascension and you have the 12 chakras so you need to say I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras so I can imagine that with the situation that is going on um, in this year as you can look at this year reading you're going to realize that you have to work with your chakras in this day so all you have to say is that I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras and I'm asking the angels or my guides to sing over me so that my chakras will vibrate in a good dimensional feel next energy that we have is from the as uh, the Aztec um, that is where all the records of each and every person is kept on this planet and we have Archangel Michael number nine number nine Archangel Michael we have Archangel Michael working with us number nine Archangel Michael so this is wonderful and when this number nine is the energy of the hermit um, because it's a Tara deck so it's the energy of the hermit too. so Archangel Michael comes up and said I'm protecting you in whatever situation is going on um, this is a new deck which I wanted to get for this year reading and I haven't really um, gone through and study each and every one of them but I can I know um, 
I've seen um, this one with Archangel Michael and it's uh, he's saying to you I'm protecting you and everything that is going on and um, um, know that your energy reflects Archangel Michael amazing strength this can be a cycle of increased power for you one where you feel your courage growing and you know what action to take next trust your conviction your power and your resourcefulness Archangel Michael Herod a time of great courage force intuition and action so don't delay he's right there with you so tap into the dynamic within you and take the action that compels you with Archangel Michael and your own power you can move mountains and lift yourself to a higher heights this is wonderful this is really wonderful really positive so um ladies and gentlemen um the other message that we have is from the conscious spirit and let's see what is here for the conscious spirit we have gratitude gratitude so you know always say thank you always say thank you it doesn't really matter always say thank you and it says I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each bring so I am grateful be very grateful in this year I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life this is going to be your affirmation for this year so write it down read it so whenever things um, get out of ray just write it down read it and um, come back to it every time okay this is going to be um, very very good okay so we're moving forward and we're looking at the last card and that is one of abundancy because a lot of people wants to know what their abundancy is going to be looking like abundancy quiet retreat you guys got quiet retreat and it says it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world create this quiet time for yourself and you will have more clarity about what to do next so this is good this is wonderful okay so you need to just remove yourself from the world to, and, 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 and know um, um, by doing that then you will have a clear clear understanding of what it is that you need to do next I want to say namaste um, I'm wishing you all a wonderful happy new year namaste until next time